Here comes trouble. The following champion versus champion contest is a tag team tables match. That is for the ECW World Tag Team Championship. And at a combined weight of 428 pounds, the ECW World Tag Team Champions and the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, The Alliance! Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. He looks great with all that gold on him. And introducing the challengers. First, from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds. One half of the WWE Worldwide Internet Tag Team Champions. And one half of the prestigious Superstars Tag Team Champions, Trick Williams. When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey, keeping his head on a swivel. Holding around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding it on with a vice-like grip. He's here and holding two championships. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Weighing in at 210 pounds, one half of the WWE Worldwide Internet Tag Team Champions, and one half of the prestigious Superstars Tag Team Champions, Carmelo Hayes. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure's on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books. It's chaos, destruction, and a lot of fun. It's a tables match. A lot of fun unless you're in the ring. Oh, oh, it's down. alive. It's cinched in. This could be a... We're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Williams gets countered. This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron, the hardest part of the ring in a deep... The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. 
Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. From behind, back suplex. And set right into the corner. Oh, my God, that's got to hurt. Table match to seem almost incompatible with strategy. Is there anything you can plan on in this type of matchup? Other than not letting yourself get put through a table? No, not really, Paul. Wow, picture perfect moonsault. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. And he's got the hardwood in hand, and you have to... Off the top, crash landing. And returning to the ring. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. Topped off with a nice elbow. And an elbow drop, too. Taking this outside. This could be good. Up and up. Bang! Big impact off the neck breaker. And he's taking this to the outside now. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target, and Hayes turning it around. Held in a perilous position. Brutal escape as that maneuver was taking just too long to materialize. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Oh, face stop. He manages to escape it. And what's he looking for here? Oh, double knee arm breaker. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. A back suplex. That was impressive. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair, and it has nothing to do with lounging. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Counter! And now there's an opening. The champ targeting that arm. If the challenger can't defend or strike, they're going to be in a hazardous situation. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand and gets tossed back into the back. Uh oh, pump handle applied. What's coming next? Oh, the driver. Someone's about to have a really bad night. Instead, delivers the inverted DDT. <laughs> Stiff elbow will break that up. What a one line. Boom! <laughs> The arm to the neck breaker. Big boy. Nasty kick to the face. Oh my God. Suplex. Hayes putting on a little display for the WWE Universe. with no count outs to worry about. They'll take things into the ring. Placed in the corner. Hoist it up. Oh, gut buster. Evisceration. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? Avoiding contact. What a clothesline! Ouch! Up and down! What a slam! Some hard offense landing on the track. They have tried their hardest to avoid damage. But... Driven down to the ground. Fujiwara armbar applied. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Reverse counter. Nice knee. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. 
a table. And guys, I don't think there will be any places. That was an effective attack, guys. And the confidence and cockiness of Hayes on display now. He went right into that turnbuckle. Solely focused on punishing the leg. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can get is being brought to the table. And he gets to... Oh, a low blow. We don't need that. The challenger is not in a great place. I think we're about to see a body go through a table real soon. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all... That's the month of fireman's carry. Oh, no. Oh, no. That will do it. Not get in from that one, so it's cold. Here are your winners. The team of Kirk Williams and Carmelo Hayes. They're happy to win, but I think even happier to avoid going through a table. A tables match takes its toll, but they were able to pull out the win here. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And is for the ECW World Television Championship! And here he comes! Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our ECW World Television Championship match. We've seen a lot of great ECW TV title matches in the past, and I am willing to bet this one will be no different, Cole. The best in the world. Sent a message when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. WWE is a different world than when Punk left a decade ago. His company's evolved. Now he must evolve. Punk better evolve. Punk better raise his game. Because nowadays there are many who claim to be the best in the world. Introducing the challenger from Somalia, 
Weighing in at 211 pounds, the Barbarian! And his opponent, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, the ECW World Television Champion, C. The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. This Falls Count Anywhere match is now underway, and you wonder what these superstars might have in mind for this match. I'm sure they can dream up plenty of dangerous locations they'd like to take this match to. For all we know, this fight could end in the next town over. Springboard, springboard, clothesline! Spinning heel kick! And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Down with the Samoan drop. Cover! Kick out at one. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Oh, a head by right to the shoulder. That's using your noggin. Dangerous constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting the win. Down, what a gourd buster. Producing a trampoline. Things now not going well for CM Punk. CM Punk needs to bring the match back to his pace. From the top. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? And that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. <laughs> Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Covered by the champ. The challenger wriggles out at one. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Hooked up. Driven down. Cover. There's two. A kick out at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Using his body as a weapon. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. The champ not in a great place. But you have to admit, at this point in a Falls Count Anywhere match, there's no way you didn't expect things to be going. You're a by Punk. He turns it into the Anaconda Vice. A uh, couple of knees. Rearing way back. Boom! Samoan spike. You got to be champion. The champ kicks out at two. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. All of that work, all of these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Ooh, stiff punch. Momentum is running away from Punk. It's got to be hard to be seeing Punk right now. What a headbutt. Vicious. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Determination. CM Punk has him up. Got a sleep. Kevin Jones down. Championship on the line. Makes a cover. The champion thought that was it. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. Rethink your plan. CM Punk thought that was enough. We thought that was enough, but somehow it didn't earn the three count. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning your Nagi. For the win! Two! There it is. The champ has fallen. Here is your winner. The Barbarian! What a 
championship win for him. The now former champion obviously not happy with this outcome. I did not think a title change was in the cards here tonight. The following champion versus champion contest is a steel cage match and is for the ECW World Championship. The whole effing show. From ECW standout to WWE legend. One of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. Well, you got to prepare to get hit with everything when facing RBD. He's got to be ready for a brawl, an aerial assault, or even technical precision. Underway, the champ looks as hungry and prepared here as ever. Yeah, they have absolutely no desire to even entertain the possibility of walking out of here tonight without their title. Suplex launched. Setting up for something here. Snake eyes. Was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. I was 
honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Punch right in the head. Oh, oh good night. Sure. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and face first. Slam. What an interception. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Uh, watch this display of power. The challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, Reigns came looking to prove his dominance, and he's doing just that right now. Oh, my forearm smash. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Trying to make their way out of the cage. Oh, God. Oh, no! From the top rope! Unceremoniously set right back down to the canvas. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Corey, we know the steel cage offers a big advantage for anyone willing to use it as a weapon. But is there a disadvantage to the structure, too? Well, Cole, I can tell you one thing that'll be hindered by the cage, and that's any sort of speed advantage. Any and all attempts to pick up the pace are going to be confined to the ring. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage. And now he's at an impasse at the top of the cage. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Looks like he's having trouble getting that other leg over. Very precarious position here. One leg over, can this superstar finish the climb? I don't think so. Oh, superstar dragging them back down to continue this fight. Face first into the cage. Crashing into the mat. And a hellacious fall from the cage. Sometimes opportunities can backfire like that. Double chicken wing, tiger suplex. And the champion avoids the two count. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara on bar. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. RVD fires back. What an incredible moonsault. Placing them into the corner, and he's able to fight Van Dam off. Shoulder tackle. A bad place to be for the challenger. Reigns just sent a message with that kind of attack. Solid punch. Reversal. Can they go to the attack? Nice Japanese arm drag. Here's the Gorilla Press, Insane. what power. Insane. Up and down, not done yet. Beautiful moonsault. <laughs> wow, did that just happen? Rolling Thunder! Is it enough? The cover! And he only stays down for a one count. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. And misses on the springboard. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. And referee cuts off the count in one. Wow, I thought for sure that was it. Just cranking the head. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Trying to make their way out of the cage. Ow! the map with a thud. Oh, that could not have felt... RVD! Five-star! Frog splash! Two! Tonight, Rob Van Dam enters a whole new stage of his career. Here is your winner, and new ECW World Champion, Rob. 
He goes home with the gold tonight. I thought the defending...